hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this fatal error that is the ue habitat game has crashed and will close fatal error so if you are receiving this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video now first of all if you have the game on xbox app or microsoft store in that case game pass user mm -hmm. can perform the steps from this video i made a separate video if you are unable to launch the game from xbox app or microsoft store in your windows computer now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer and after the system restart you can try launching the game still you are unable to launch the game then verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to Try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option. So go to general tab and in launch option, you can type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can try, you can even try dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can remove this from here. First of all, Try DX11 or DX12. If that does not work, then you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to skip this step if you are unable to launch the game. If you are not able to launch the game, you can try next step. But if you are able to launch the game, you can turn off F FSR3 frame generation. You can try window full screen or window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now, go to options and then go to video. Now over here, if this is set to full screen, uh, you can set it to window full screen or you can even switch to window mode. If the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower it down. And then I will, you can turn off the motion blur, scroll down. Now if the graphics quality, the graphics preset. Now if this is set to epic, uh, you can set it to high and scroll down. And over here under advanced graphics, now, if you're using AMD FSR 3, in that case, you can turn off the frame generation. So when you're using AMD FSR 3, you can set the quality mode to quality and then turn off frame generation and then confirm the settings and then check the performance. Now, still you're facing the problem. You can even switch to NVIDIA DLSS. Now set this to quality scroll down and if everything over here is set to epic you can set it to high now apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here and then select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, again go to properties and this time select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. Still not working. Go to properties once again, and this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. Now still not working, you can open this Habitat folder, and then open binaries folder, Win64, and over here you will find the game exe file. Make a right click on this game exe file, and do the same thing. Go over here, and then put a check on run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck all these boxes from here. Hit apply, click on OK, and then go back and then do the same thing with the first exe file. Make a right click, select properties, and then uncheck all these boxes if it's not working. 
hit apply click on ok and then launch the game again in gen check now the next step is to now if you are using any kind of third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are not using any third party then you, if you are using windows security then you can open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option with update and security so click on privacy and security or update and security in case of windows 10 and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access so in my case it was off so i'll turn it on now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so if the game installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add an allowed app once again now click on browse all apps once again and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings and then go to windows update or update in security now click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click on download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings so type in graphics settings over here go to graphics settings and then now click on browse over here go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once it is added now click on options select high performance and then click on save now launch the game still not working click on browse once again open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added now click on options once again select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to delete the config folder now to delete the config folder uh, you can open file explorer on your computer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder now over here you will see habitat folder open this folder open saved folder and over here you will see this config folder it has a uh, like all the config files so you can go back and then delete this config folder you will lose all the saved settings you have to you know if you want to custom the settings you can select the settings once again but once you delete the config you will delete the, you will lose the setting saved settings so make a right click and then you can click on delete once this is deleted now you can launch the game still not working in that case the next step is to delete the save game files now when you delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files to delete the save game files go to the same path and then go uh, over here you can see this habitat folder so when you go to this path over here 
now make a right click on habitat folder and then you can click click on delete once you delete it you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now you can launch the game and then check next step is to install microsoft visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 you have to download both the file so click on x86 and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and then download this x64 file as well now click over here and then run this exe file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once both the installation are complete then restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using so if you have these devices connected you can disconnect it also if you have sometimes we have additional controller connected disconnected launch the, the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it disable steam overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check next step is to close all the other overlay applications so if you have discord running close it if you have geforce experience running then you can close the geforce experience in my case it is already closed so if you have any other overlay application you can close it and then check also close all the overclocking applications so if you have overclocking application like msi afterburner revert tuner so make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then check 
also perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all and then click on apply and then click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game now the next step is to update your system bios now you can go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo website so go to your system manufacturer website and then find the latest bios update available now in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer and then update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive sometimes we install the game to external drive so uninstall the game from external drive and then install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then in that case you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel